Hey there, it's Charlie from Process Flow Pros. In this video, we're going to go over all the advantages of enterprise for Monday work management. Is it worth it or should you stick with the pro plan? So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to look at is the Monday pricing page. So this is probably the number one place most people go when just trying to figure out which plan to go with. So Monday has, you know, they're free, basic, standard, pro, and enterprise, and it's Definitely something that comes up on a regular basis with almost all of my customers. It's like, should I get the pro plan? Should I get enterprise? So just like a quick note to start, you can always grow into enterprise. You don't necessarily need to start at enterprise. You could just get a pro plan and then grow into it based off of your company's needs. Um, so going through this, it could be a little overwhelming, especially when you're not familiar with all the features and functionalities of Monday and you know, if you're not experienced with how many automations or AI credits you might need, it could be overwhelming. So just because this page itself shows everything doesn't mean it actually is everything. And I'll show you what that means in a minute. But just going based off of what they have on their website, the pro plan, the enterprise plan obviously has everything the pro plan has. But the big things you're missing out on just right off the top are the number of automations and the integration. So you get 25,000 per month, whereas uh, here with enterprise, you're going to get 250,000. And if you go down here, you can see, you know, AI credits are the same and the checks will keep going down, be lined up more or less the same until you get to support. So you get a de dedicated customer success manager, you get that 99.9% .9 uptime for their SLA with enterprise. And if you keep going down, you can see that you get single sign-on, you're working in healthcare, you get that HIPAA compliance, you could do some more IP restrictions if you need that extra layer of security. And then the big thing that I, I would say that kind of is the shift for some of my customers is doing a permission-based control of some of your workspaces and what people have access to if you have a larger company. So even with smaller companies, like say you have like 20 to 50 people and you have a lot of different departments, sometimes these permissions can come in handy. And as far as like enterprise reporting goes, is it worth it as it's not? I, I would say, but just for reporting, generally not. Um, so I understand this list is a little bit nebulous. So let's kind of bring this back down to earth and like, what is that? What, are, what does each thing look like? So here we have a list of features that are either in enterprise and limited in pro or just not in pro and only enterprise. Permission settings, as we described before, that is something that's more advanced in enterprise, basic in pro. Project portfolios, it's not gonna show up on that list on uh, their website, but you get it in enterprise, you don't get it in pro. Advanced workflows, same idea, it's not in pro manage templates, only columns, and you're limited to three in pro, and then you get board um, to manage templates also in enterprise. And then pivot boards are, think of it as like pivot tables that you do in spreadsheets, but with your Monday board data in dashboards. So let's go through these one by one so you can see what that looks like. So starting off with the permission settings, if you're in the pro plan, if you go up to the three dots here, you can click on permissions on any board, and then you get this board permission functionality. It'll say these one, two, three, four different options. So edit everything, only edit content, only edit assigned items, view and commit. And then you can go through and you can check what each thing is available in each one of these permission sets. So at the item level, everything's available to all members of the board, sub items, everything's available to all members of the board, general, so on. But if I restrict it down to only edit content, now board members cannot create columns. So only board owners can do these things. So they can make updates. They could do most general things, except for renaming the board, importing data, and then they can't change the item terminology. So basically like kind of like the structure of your boards, if you want to think of it that way, only edit assigned items as it describes, you assign an item to somebody, that's the only thing that they can edit. And then view and comment, as you can imagine, they can only view and comment things. But uh, for the enterprise plan, 
So I don't have enterprise plan here, but if you go to administration and you go down to permissions, you're then able to go more granular down to what exactly can be done at the account level, the board level, the item level, dashboards, workflow, and so on as the different types of account roles. So as an admin, member, viewer, and then you can create custom account roles after that. So next on our list that's only an enterprise is the project portfolios. So maybe you're familiar with, you know, clicking here, adding a board, document, dashboard, whatever. But if you have enterprise, you can add projects and then attach them to a portfolio. So this is the portfolio view. And then you go in here, add new project, and then you can connect the projects to your portfolio from wherever you want in your workspaces. And it gives you just like a general overview of the health of the projects, you know, where they are, what stage they're at, timelines. And then it gives you this nice little Gantt chart for each one of your projects. So it'll show up here and then you can show up by month, week, day, year, quarter. And then you get a snapshot of like all your projects to see how the health of them are uh, at the current time. And a project board, you know, looks pretty much similar to a regular board, just has that ability to connect to a portfolio. You can set the project health here, click on here to get an overview of the project itself. And then it just operates pretty much like you would normally would with a regular board. So next thing after that, that's only an enterprise is workflows. So these are really powerful. So you're used to setting up automations for all of your boards. But with this, you can actually set up something that has a workflow in it. So if you're in, if you've already been using tools like say like Zapier or make.com, this is up your alley. You can actually take data from other boards, parse them into other boards, and then make some automation based off of that. Like for instance, this is when a status changes, if status is a certain status, if yes, no, then you can create an item, delay, create another sub item, they're very powerful and super easy to use. It's like your automations, just click drop down uh, views, or sorry, click with drop down list to choose from. Next up, we have managed board and column templates. So in enterprise, you have the ability to create managed templates and in pro, you can just have a template. So here, if I click on a uh, template in a pro plan only, you have a couple options to move it to the origin or duplicate the origin, but then it asks you if you just want to create a standard template, which means it won't be able to update multiple other templates. It just is a template that you can reuse. But if you're in an enterprise, you're able to, whenever you update that template, it will then update all the other templates that are managed by that template. And then for the columns. So here I have a managed column. So what does that look like? So here you can see it's already managed. You can detach it if you want to. So it's no longer attached to the managed columns. But if I wanted to make it a managed column, I would just go into here, save as managed columns, and then just name it whatever you want. Click next. You, you can make whatever changes you want, then save. And then you can also, you can add it however you want. So if you go plus sign, managed columns, now it'll show up here, add to board. Now, whenever you make changes to that column, managed column template, it will then make changes across all the other places that you've added it to. So, uh, but in the pro plan, you, I believe you only get three, whereas in enterprise, you, you get more. So we've covered this whole list, except for pivot boards. I don't have access to the pivot boards now, but you can imagine just like in spreadsheets, looks exactly the same, same way. You can pivot on the data with your rows and columns, kind of slice up your data. It is definitely helpful, but just use just to switch to enterprise for that maybe isn't worth it because the price difference, you're going to pay a little over double what you're paying for pro. And just for that one feature, it's, it's not really worth it. I would say, especially if it's just for data analytics and you want to go above and beyond, you should probably be looking at like a Tableau or maybe power BI and doing some kind of integration around that or using one of the apps in the app marketplace. To round this off, some other things to consider that were also in that list we discussed earlier, the automations, the file storage. So 100 gigabytes is what you get with Pro. You get 1,000 with Enterprise. AI credits are the same right now. 
uh, and then activity log is definitely something that's super helpful if you have a lot of people working in your business and you want to just keep track of like those changes that are ongoing, you get a whole five years with enterprise. And then for single sign on, I mean, you can have the Google auth, which is, uh, comes standard with pro, but if you want something like say like Okta or Azure for a single sign on, if you're maybe like a larger organization that uses that as a standard, you're going to need enterprise. So that about wraps it up for the differences between pro and enterprise. Just like you imagine, it, is it worth it? It depends, right? So does your business need all the things that we've listed here in enterprise and over here in enterprise, then maybe it's a better fit for you. You can always go with the pro plan though, and then grow into enterprise as your company grows. So thanks for watching. And if you need any more help with Monday or have any question, feel free to contact me. All of my details are in the description below and thanks for watching.